Hello there, welcome to another video. Welcome back to another Centedelic video. So today I'm going to do probably two videos. This is going to be the first one. So this particular video talks about, uh, you know, new launches. So they, uh, Centedelic has about 17 plus new launches and I have the 10 ml decans from them. So of this, this is going to be, uh, you know, part one of the video where I'm going to talk to you about, uh, about seven fragrances from this set. And I will tell you which are the ones that are excellent and which are the ones that are about decent, okay? Uh, and uh, the second video would be about a summer fragrance list that I'm trying to create. So let's try and see if we can get to that as well. So all about this particular set of fragrances, which is about like I have here about 15 fragrances here and two inside my cupboard. Uh, but the ones that are there inside are basically Ganymede clones. So we'll talk about them a little later. But these are all relatively new releases and some of them are fantastic. So I'm going to talk to you about seven of these right after this introduction. You're watching the Perfume Experience. My name is Rodney and let's get going. So welcome back. So let's start with the first fragrance and here we have Ebene Fume. Okay, now this is a fragrance from the house of, uh, you know, Tom Ford. This is a fragrance that you would want to consider if you're looking for a dark masculine kind of a fragrance. Now when you put this on, you kind of get a very strong animalic note which begins with a lot of that leathery note. It's got rounded off with some incense, then there's black pepper, then there's palo santo, then there is of course ebony tree. Okay, then there's also raisins and then there is a little bit of flower element like rose and all of that. But what I kind of you know sense a strong note is a good tone of uh, you know sharp minty type of a vibe that comes from probably violet leaf uh, you know bring, which brings in that cucumber type of thing then there is cade oil also which brings in that little bit of that sharpness then you get a nice vibe of that balsamic vinegary type of a feeling probably that's coming from that ebony tree uh, you know uh, uh, note which is there on this particular fragrance and on the whole this is a very manly woody kind of a fragrance with a lot of smoky elements and a little bit of that dark masculine type of elements because even the leather note that is there is also pretty strong and pretty uh, you know animalic type right so if you're looking for something that's very dark mature well-rounded that kind of a scent that you would want typically aside from your uh, you know uh, a fresh floral or fruity type of a vibe and you want something more mature you can definitely consider this okay now this I would strictly say is a good evening wear type of a fragrance and not so much of a day wear kind of a thing because all of the notes that are there uh, especially when you think about things like in you know, an ebony tree or you know if you think about raisins or even if you think about incense I would feel that this is more of an evening type of a scent okay now all, all of this the performance is really really good and the projection is pretty good as well I will tell that on most the performance is above five to six hours time so that is something that you can definitely take it for granted so you don't we don't have to talk specifically about performance but when you talk about projection this one projects really really good so you will get about two to three feet of projection probably for the first uh, 45 minutes to one hour and after that it kind of you know starts Starts to go down a bit as it goes down into the notes you will get a more of that woody vibe which is from the cedar note but on the whole I felt it's a pretty a linear type of fragrance with a more sharp note of that mint type of an accord that's coming now when you think about mint don't think about fresh type of a mint it is just that because there is incense and because there is leather there is also labdenum on this particular one and the palo alto and the peppery thing bring in along with it violet leaf bring in a little bit of that uh, you know freshness okay so just just that so but on the whole you feel very nice very beautiful type of a scent but a very dark masculine type of a scent now so this is ebony fume from the house of tom ford Next, let's talk about a nice fragrance called As Palace from the house of Al Jazeera Perfumes. Okay, now this is a beautiful fragrance and it's a very good surprise as well. Though this particular fragrance opens up with rose, it opens with musk, it opens with patchouli, bergamot, ambergris, all of that. But what you get is a nice rosy, musky fragrance, lightly sweet, very, very nice. And you know, you, you can see me smile already when I put this on because every time I've worn this particular fragrance, I've always felt very happy because one, probably because it's a rose fragrance and uh, I'm a sucker for rose fragrances. They're really, really nice. But this one feels very classy and very beautifully done because the way the rose blends into this musk is really nice and the way those patchouli and the bergamot part kind of plays up. Very nice, very light, very airy, very sophisticated, extremely unisex and both genders can easily carry it off. But what makes it even more nice is, is that it's a very nice, uh, you know, summer scent. Okay, so it can be definitely worn as a summer scent and you will get a lot of compliments for it. 
extremely pleasing very soft very gentle uh, and you know uh, the other thing is it, this one also performs really really good you get about two and a half three feet of projection easily on this one and performance i would say about close to about five hours roughly but on the whole if you like a musk as uh, as a note you know which is a very sharp nice accord and then the rose on this one plays really really well it's extremely well done and i think uh, you know uh, kudos to sk for this blend beautiful blend if you like a rose fragrance you should definitely give this a try this is basically palace from the house of al jazeera perfumes very beautiful rose fragrance next we are talking about this beautiful fragrance called as flamingo this is an alt of the popular fragrance from the house of ramon monegal called as flamenco now this is supposed to be a beast mode fragrance and this this alt is no less okay so in actually if you look very closely the juice color is light uh, you know uh, creamish uh, brownish in color okay it's likely there this is a fabulous fragrance because this opens up with a lot of fruity notes okay it's got some tart notes like raspberry it's also got some woody notes it's got some uh, floral notes like jasmine it's got uh, rose uh, but at the base it's got amber it's got cedar a lot of elements going around but this is such a fabulous fragrance let me tell you how this goes so let me do a spray and this is beast mode type of a fragrance okay and i quote beast mode this is a fragrance that's got, uh, you know, outside to these elements that I mentioned, apple and all of that, it's also got violet, it's also got iris, it's also got, uh, you know, a cedar and all these things. But what you predominantly get is the feeling of musk, the feeling of fruitiness, the feeling of tartness, along with nice rosy, ambery vibe. Oh, beautiful. You get a nice note of, uh, you know, uh, musk. Although musk is not mentioned, I feel a very musky, a strong accord of that. But that fruity note that you get starting at the raspberry one, along with a little bit of the rose that's playing in the background and the cedar, amber, all of that. Oh, wow. Okay, just simply wow. If I'm telling you this, you've got to experience this fragrance. This is superb. Now, don't think about this as a floral fragrance at all. This is more of a floral green green, uh, fruity, uh, ambery, musky type of a fragrance and there is a sharp uh, note on this one with probably because of that raspberry note and uh, you know probably that rose along that amber brings that sharp accord feels like a musk fragrance like uh, you know how you would think of a palace but the musk there and rose is subtle here it is on your face screams at you three and a half four feet of projection easily and this will be on your skin for seven to eight hours time for the first one and a half two hours it projects like crazy the most surprising the most beautiful fragrance in this list hands down i will tell you is Flamingo from the house of Ram and Monegal. You can definitely try this. Very unisex, extremely good for summers, extremely good for office wear. But office wear, I would say, probably toned down in the number of sprays that you would want to. You can definitely wear this as a day wear fragrance as well. Absolutely loud this. This is called Flamingo from Escape. Number four, let's talk about a nice uh, fragrance from the house of Louis Vuitton called as Contremoy. Now, this was a very nice fragrance. Uh, surprised me a lot uh, because I was actually recommended this fragrance to be tried by uh, another fraghead. Now this is your uh, typical fragrance that's got a citrus element. Okay, it's got a green, uh, you know, very soapy, uh, earthy type of opening. Probably a lot of herbal notes that comes across. Then it's got some bitter elements like you know orange blossom and all of that. And then there is vanilla. There is musk. Okay, and uh, there are some fruit notes also like a pear and I think all of those are there. But what you get is a very nicely blended, fruity, uh, citrusy, herbal fragrance, very green uh, type of a, a fragrance mixed with vanilla okay so that is extremely extremely beautiful think of a uh, think of a lemon meringue pie okay with ice cream you know you know you would kind of get a very uh, creamy vanilla texture that you would want you want some kind of a musky element but that fruity element along with the citrus element gives that nice sharp freshness okay so that is what you get the opening of that uh, herbal note is there for a few minutes and after that it kind of transitions more into lemon and then from uh, citrus notes and then it, you get a little bit of the fruity notes that's hovering across but the biggest part is along with the fruity notes it's that combination of vanilla there is two types of vanilla on this particular fragrance and that's what makes this extremely unique and extremely uh, you know 
very lovely to wear for summers and very very unisex type of a fragrance you can wear it for day wear office wear summer all of that is fine on this one also the projection is about two two and a half feet lasting is about four and a half five hours is what i've been able to get on my skin probably apparel you can you know consider getting a half an hour more but this is a very nice way of trying a summer fragrance because the very idea of getting uh, citrus notes along with vanilla and you know cacao and amber is something very very unique nicely done so this is you know country moi from the house of louis vuitton that you can try okay so this is number four Let's go to another fragrance which is very very popular in fact uh, with lot of people whoever has tried this has absolutely enjoyed this. I'm talking about Zerge of Golden Green. Okay, Now this is a fragrance that opens with a lot of uh, you know as the name says you will get a lot of green, uh, green elements but you will also get a lot of woody vibes as well. Okay, You will also get a lot of nice musky elements nice sharp sweet slightly sweet you know good performance on this one very nice scent profile on the whole as well now this has cardamom juniper coffee uh, you know musk you know those elements so it makes a very different type of a fragrance although you get those oriental spices right at the top i feel mostly green elements on this particular fragrance and very aptly named golden green because you also get that coffee vibe on it you get that musky element so it's a very uh, you know a lot of fresh vibes that you get you get a good vibe of energy when you kind of put this on slightly sweeter is what else uh, also i would like to say but you get a very nice key nice musky element uh, like i mentioned before that musk part along with coffee makes it for a very beautiful vibe along with those junipers uh, juniper berries which are tartness and then cardamom which brings that sweetness gives that fragrance very nice good body good performance good lasting and in the heart there is a little bit of those uh, you know uh, masculine elements like there is leather there is incense there is also a uh, vetiver and i think there is got also nagarmata oil on this particular fragrance which gives that little bit of that you know uh, you know balsamic vinegary touch that you need but because at the top you have cardamom juniper berries and all those elements and at the bottom you have coffee and you have musk these elements are you know very subtle they are very beautiful you don't even kind of you know uh, recognize that there is incense or leather as such it's very uh, lightly there just just a whiff of it that you will keep getting uh, you know on and off but what you'll predominantly get a very nice green fresh kind of a fragrance and if you want something for office for something for summer that you would want to enjoy very differently i would say that you should definitely consider getting zerge of golden green well the next one is called oud for greatness okay so for us when the moment we think of oud for greatness we always think for oud for glory latafa but trust me you got to try this because you will see a very stark difference in the way the fragrance opens up okay especially that oud that is there so typically oud for uh, greatness or oud for glory or you know oud for greatness let's say has got uh, saffron nutmeg lavender i think and then it's also got saffron is a predominant element it's got oud it's also got musk okay and a little bit of patchouli now the way uh, sks uh, edition opens up is fantastic you get a very nice other aroma of that oud mixed with saffron you, you have that nice sweet element that you get you have a nice element of that oud uh, that rubbery uh, burnt rubber type of a oud or uh, type of a feeling that's predominantly because the uh, saffron with the nutmeg and the musk gives that vibe fantastic and i would say if you're looking for a very good alternative of oud for glory uh, oud for greatness you should definitely consider getting this very nicely done beast mode you will get performance about 3 feet plus easy you will get about 6 to 7 hours on skin fabulous fragrance from the house of sk i was so pleasantly surprised with this because i've been uh, you know for me whenever i think of oud for greatness i always go for oud for glory so it's always been that way for me until i tried this this is superb you got to experience this this is oud for greatness the last one that I would like to talk about on this set is called Milliseme Imperial. Okay, so this is, uh, you know, a very popular fragrance, especially for summer. People like this because there is a nice accord of salty, uh, salt as a note. Then there are some fruity vibes. Then there is uh, a bit of marine notes to it. Then there is a woody notes. Then there is a, a little bit of um, uh, musk. All of these elements, but you, you get a very nice opening on this one. 
you get a very nice salty uh, you know slightly lavender uh, you know marine type of a vibe and that salty note is very very nice along with that fruity notes that come after a certain time and the woody notes that come a little later it's a very nice fragrance for summer and in the heart there are a lot of citrus elements okay like bergamot like lemon that gives that nice freshness to it but on the whole this is a super fresh kind of a fragrance you uh, you know if you're on the beach you're going for a holiday you want to kind of wear this one because that uh, salt note along with that marine note the woody notes mask fabulous okay so this is also good although what i felt on this particular one is that you know the projection is a little you know softer maybe about two feet and the performance is a little lower okay so this was millisemi imperial now of the seven fragrances and if i were to pick up uh, you know the great ones or the best ones that i think are really really good uh, you know of, that you have to absolutely must enjoy i will say one definitely would be wood for greatness one okay second i would say golden green is really really good that is another one that you should try uh, Contremoy, I would say, is a very good one, but then I would say the you know it's something that you would want to uh, experiment because you're talking about citrus and you're talking about vanilla, so you would want to kind of you know take a precautionary step. Flamingo, uh, Flamingo is absolutely a must. This is a fantastic fragrance, a beast mode fragrance. A baby fume, I would say that you can definitely uh, again try it. Uh, you know, I would uh, recommend you to try the decant or the 3 ml sample and then get it. You can definitely get Palace also. Okay, so these are four that I would highly, uh, highly recommend. Wood for greatness, uh, <clears throat> golden green. Flamenco and uh, Palace are some amazing stuff. I would also say, you know, you can definitely add uh, uh, Contremoy as well. This is definitely damn good in terms of its uh, scent profile. So you can definitely try all of these, right? So this was from my part one of the uh, set of this particular fragrance. I will, uh, you know, do my testing on the other ones and then I will come back to you with part two of the, or rather set two as well. Okay. So if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe and share. You're watching the perfume experience. My name is Rodney. Until another time, take care. Bye now.